Welcome back. Let's focus on Skipper. The stock has seen a big, big up move in the last one year or so, and the numbers appear pretty good as well. To understand what's the way ahead for FI25, we are joined by Mr. Sharon Bansal, who is the director of the company. Hi, Sharon. Uh, good morning and good to see you, Wen. Well, uh, you know, for the last year, you were guiding for this 25-30% odd growth. And you ended up with, I think, 66% growth. Now, again, you're talking about a 25% growth for the next two years. Sharon, give us a realistic number. What kind of a revenue growth should we look at, point number one? What will be the exports contribution as a percentage of the total mix? Please go ahead. Sure. So, well, uh, Nigel, I'd uh, much rather come on the show and uh, positively surprise you uh, by beating the guidance than the other side. So, we are happy that we've uh, far exceeded our guidance of 25% uh, and achieved a revenue growth of 66% this year. Uh, even with this elevated base, we maintain our guidance of 25% CAGR over the next two years. We have the order book to support that. And uh, again, uh, the effort will be uh, certainly to far exceed that uh, guidance as well. Uh, in terms of right. exports, uh, we believe that uh, uh, the order book right now uh, is something about 15 odd percent is what we are carrying in exports. Uh, that will likely translate uh, into revenue next year. Uh, or about a 15% odd. But uh, I believe that uh, this is uh, just a function of the domestic market being very, very vibrant uh, right now, where uh, in uh, absolute numbers, the domestic market has just uh, taken a far, uh, far greater uh, revenue uptake. So that's why on a percentage basis, the exports uh, seem to be down. But on absolute numbers, uh, exports continue to do well. And uh, we also are entering new and new markets uh, as we speak. Got it. So 25% CAGR is something that you'll do over the next two years with exports accounting for about 15%. On an absolute basis, it'll increase, but because domestic is doing well, it won't. Uh, just wanted your thoughts on a couple of things then, Sharan. Just one, you said that uh, operating margins will improve from current levels. How much, you haven't said. So if you could give us a sense, you know, would it be 50, 100, 200 basis points over the next couple of years? That's one. And secondly, if you could give us a sense of what kind of order inflows are you targeting for next year? Sure. Uh, we have done very well in uh, operating margins this year as well. If you look at uh, PBT basis, uh, we were at below 2% last year. This year, we closed at uh, plus or 3.5%. So we are quite happy about that. We should see further improvement of at least 50 bits uh, on the PBT side every year, uh, and perhaps more than that uh, in terms of... Uh, sorry, I missed your second question. Order inflow, what's the guidance order for inflow, the next year? Yes. So order inflow, uh, in line with the revenue growth guidance, uh, I believe that last year our input, our order inflow was about 4,200 crores. This year we should be looking at a number of about 5,000 plus crores inflow, uh, certainly looking at the market uh, uh, buoyancy. All right, Sharan, I just want to ask you, there is some buzz that you'll be trying for a big order in Canada. Is that correct? Uh, North America continues to be a focus area for us, and we are in discussions with a few orders. I would not like to comment on that uh, before uh, we actually finalize something, but uh, I believe that uh, in the future, and I, I've said that in the past as well, that North America continues to be uh, quite a focus area for us going forward. Mm. How Is much it... does that account for in your overall sales, and what would the size of that Canadian North American order be, if at all you get it? I, uh, as of now, North America doesn't, uh, it's quite small in our order, overall order book. Uh, our uh, current key markets are Australia, Middle East and Africa and of course Latin America. Uh, again, uh, I don't want to comment on the order right now because it's just, uh, it, it's just, it's not taken place yet. Oh, oh. Just a broad size is what we wanted to get. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't have, an, I don't have a comment on that. Should we, uh, should we throw a couple of numbers and you could tell us whether we are in the vicinity, <laughs> three, four thousand crores? I think, I think uh, you know, the overall uh, order guidance, uh, I think five thousand crore is a good target that we've taken for ourselves. Uh, historically, uh, in the last couple of years, we've done four thousand crores of order inflow. So obviously, we, uh, we look to improve upon that and take it beyond five thousand this year. And I think overall, between a mix of domestic and international, there are mm. enough opportunities for us to get that. So this, this 5,000 crore guidance that you've given for the next year in terms of inflow, let's uh, assume that this order is not a part of that, right? Uh, this order would also be a part of that, yes. Hmm. All right. Okay, okay. got it. Um, let's focus on the polymer products business. Now, that's a very small part of your business.
But what happened in the past quarter? Uh, was there any one-off? Because in quarter four, there's a decline. Uh, yes, it certainly was a one-off. Uh, overall, in the year, uh, we have done well in terms of volumes. We had about a 30-35% uh, volume growth. It did not translate fully onto the revenue because of lower commodity prices. Uh, this quarter uh, was a one-off due to adverse market conditions. However, uh, our brand continues to do well uh, and our uh, brand is gaining uh, more and more acceptance in newer markets uh, and they are getting uh, penetrated deeply into existing markets. So we are quite confident that uh, yeah, in the coming years, uh, PVC will be a strong vertical uh, for us as well. No, it was a big decline of 30%. So we ask you, uh, you know, you grew well for the year, but there was a big decline. So on this uh, part of the business itself, the polymer products, PVC as you're calling it, uh, what do you scale to in this year uh, in terms of revenues, if you could give us a guidance? And in the past, we have asked you whether or not at some scale you could unlock some value. What is that scale? Uh, the revenue guidance for polymer business will continue to be uh, uh, what is overall for the company, that is about 25%. And in terms of demerging from the parent company, uh, yes, we would certainly look at that, but only after this business achieves a scale of about 800 to 1,000 crores. And by when is that likely to attain that number, according to you, three, four years? We would like it to happen sooner than that, but yeah, three, four years is uh, certainly a possibility. Sooner would be what, two years? For sure. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to your thoughts on the engineering business as well, because you've increased capacity by about 25% there. In the fourth quarter, that vertical grew by about 41%, which is higher than your overall growth. So, is this higher than overall growth likely to continue? And what does this enhanced capacity mean in terms of increased revenue? The increased capacity is something that we will actually take up uh, in the uh, new financial year. Uh, mm -hmm. So we will end the year with 375,000 uh, metric tons per year. Right now, uh, as per the previous year, our capacity continues at 300,000. And the growth has largely come from all the debottlenecking and optimization exercises that we've been doing. And of course, the favorable market conditions and the order book. Uh, this year also, we expect to grow, because uh, currently we are at about a 70% capacity utilization or so we hope to take that up to 90% uh, this year. So the growth will come from a combination of taking that 70 to 90 as well as a new capacity, which will likely come online uh, closer to quarter three and quarter four. Two four run rate was about 700 crores this quarter. Um, next year with increased capacity, increased utilization, etc. Can we expect this number to be closer to 900 to 1000? Uh, you're talking about infra business? Uh, the engineering products business. The that was about 701 crores in the fourth, fourth quarter. quarter. In the fourth quarter, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, on an annual basis, uh, uh, again, looking at the uh, capacity uh, growth as well as the utilization, which I spoke about, uh, a minimum 30% uh, growth, 25% uh, to 30% growth should happen. Of course, the effort would be to go higher than that. All right, and just to confirm the margin number that we should work with for this uh, year, what, what will it be? On a EBITDA basis, uh, you can expect uh, uh, anywhere between around the approximate number of 10% odd. And uh, on a PBT basis, certainly uh, at least a 50 bips point uh, better than what we've done in the current year. Okay, besides the PNL, the net working capital days as well has come down. Uh, where does this number stabilize in terms of number of days? I believe we are quite comfortable with uh, uh, net working capital days of approximately 90 uh, odd days. So we believe that we are uh, in that in the right space now. Uh, there is some opportunity for bringing down uh, inventory uh, as well, uh, inventory further. Although we've done some good work in terms of bringing down inventory as a number of days, uh, some further good work can happen on that side as well. You, you have a market share of what, about 10 to 15 percent right now? Uh, what is 10 to 15? Sorry, I missed that. Your market share. Uh, yes, our market share in uh, engineering products in uh, both our uh, major sectors, that is TND as well as telecom, would be approximately 10 to 15 percent. And you are looking to increase that, I presume. Uh, you, do you have a target in mind? I think the market uh, itself is growing very well, both in India and uh, abroad. So there's enough opportunity for all uh, players to grow business without infringing upon each other. You have about 577 crores of gross debt on your books. Not too much given the scale of operations that you're at. Are you comfortable with it? Are you looking to pare it down or maybe 
take on some more debt to fund some of the capex that you're doing? Uh, the capex that we planned uh, approximately 200 crores for this year will be a mix of internal accruals and some long-term debt. Uh, we can expect uh, the debt number to move up marginally. Uh, however, uh, as you rightly mentioned that despite the sharp growth in revenues, uh, the debt number hasn't gone up proportionately. Uh, so we expect a similar trend in the coming years as well. Okay, all right, Sharan. Appreciate you joining in. Uh, you've had a good last year. We'll hold you at these numbers for FY25. And we'll keep a tab whether or not there is some development in Canada, North American market, as you said. But that's included in that 5,000 crore order inflow guidance. Appreciate you joining in.